Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com, and today's practice with me is the Chaminade Concertino. I'm going to go through the Chaminade Concertino in a number of parts and just highlight some tricky areas. Today, we're going to only talk about the first 15 measures. So this is the opening to the whole piece, and it's just so beautiful and so lovely. One of the tricky things that I hear when people play it for me, and I'm, I'm listening to them to teach them this piece, is that the contrast between triplets and duplets. We start off with eighth notes right away, then we get into the triplet, and then back to eighth notes, and then back to triplets. It's just back and forth and back and forth. Almost always, if there's a problem, the triplets are played too fast. So if we were starting at the beginning, so I'm trying to really make sure I'm not rushing through those triplets there. We want to take and pull this line, not rush it. It's just so delicately beautiful through here. Uh, and that's every time we have a duple and then a triple, then a duple, then a triple. Um, and to make sure that that triplet is not rushed. Another thing in these beginning lines is to not start too softly. Um, sometimes this is played And it says mezzo forte. Why not use that to your advantage? It makes it just so lovely just to start off with a beautiful, not overly loud sound, but just a nice, comfortable mezzo forte sound. Then you have those two tenutoed notes. Don't make them too long. Too short, too long, um, you want to make them, as Goldilocks said, just right. And that is making them sticky. So if you think about tenudos as sticky notes, just like you can barely get off them. You have to hold them just a little bit too long. Um, but not so long that you have to rush your triplets to stay with the piano if you were playing with the piano. That's the opening here, and that's what's tricky. Next is, uh, as you go along, there's all these diminuendos, and then start louder, then get softer. Start louder, and then get softer. So measure six starts off with a diminuendo. That means that as you ended measure five, which was your opening phrase, you've tapered and you've gotten softer. You have to come in bigger than that. Here's the end of five. Now I'm going to come in. And then the next F sharp is soft and I'm crescendo. And now forte. Now make sure you articulate these. Um, then articulation is very important as well. So starting that measure six with a good forte, diminuendoing, and then crescendoing through the next measure, and then you're at your top here, your forte, come down, you come up and measure uh, 10, I think it is, and you're doing triplets, articulating, ya da 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 and then all your uh, phrase just opens wide up. Here we go on that measure, I think it's 11. So here we are doing that opening phrase again, except now higher, so it makes it um, much more um, intense and a little bit more dramatic through here. So 
that's your opening through measure 15. Work on that opening, explore your range of, of dynamics and articulation, make sure that there's a nice ta where there's supposed to be a ta, whatever's written here was written by the composer, so put those in. And compare your du duplets with your triplets to make sure that you're not shortchanging the triplets and you're rushing through them. That's your first 15 measures. Have fun working on Chaminade. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, press the like button, comment below, share it with your friends, and subscribe.